Welcome, Welcome back, back to the, the basement, basement, the friendliest place, place on, on YouTube. YouTube. Last time we came into this place, Stretto, in in Owl Boy. Now it's been a couple weeks. Since now we it's played. this time. Yeah. So uh, uh, we got to this new area, and we're not really sure what to do here. So did you try to? Oh, you could shoot that apart. Oh, look at that progress already. And you thought we didn't know what we were doing. Can you go left? No, that fog made it look like that was a path, but it was just. But it was not. Easy. It was uh. St Single path, no traveler. Ooh. Ooh. Why is that glimmering? Shining, shimmering, splendid. Name that song. Tell me, darling, first, when did your heart let your heart decide? Pretty much. Um, oh, I wonder if we'll get clouds that, that drop rain or hold water or whatever. Because there's that little pool of water. Remember that mechanic? Yeah, the little sponge clouds or whatever. Did I tell you about the time I sang uh, that song from the Disney animated full-length motion feature, Aladdin? Uh, in middle school, I sang it as a duet. It was the prettiest... It was in middle school. The prettiest girl. Was it Kelsey? In choir. No, I didn't meet her until college. Oh, okay. Uh, well, was Jasmine... Her name was Jasmine, no, too? No, oh. she sang Jasmine's part. Got it. And, uh... Was she dark and, and exotic? No, she was, like, pale and blonde. <laughs> like, you know, Minnesota, uh, Swedish descent, middle school girl. Uh, but yeah, I was, like, terrified already to sing by myself. I mean, with her, too, but, like, there... You know how the song goes, right? Aladdin sings, and then Jasmine yeah. sings, and then I they both sing. I can show you the world. And, uh, yeah, it was terrifying to sing alone also, but then to be standing next to her and, like, sharing a microphone with her and going, yeah, I, I've never asked a girl out on a date before, and I'm not gonna right now. <laughs> but, man, I tore it Does it look up. like we're doing damage to that guy, or does it look like nope. we're not doing damage? You gotta, um... You gotta, like, Wow. Uh, Just gotta dodge. Yeah, well, it might be that, or maybe you, like, you swing into him with your wings and stun him and then shoot him. Something like that. That's true. I feel like we're... I feel like there's a lot of branching paths, and we're... Yeah, like an octopath. I was expecting this one to, uh... See you later, Getty. To, like, dead end, but I think you picked the progress one, the progression one, right away. Yeah, and I and I like to not do that, but I'm not gonna backtrack now. Yeah, no, I think it's fine. Whoa. I'm trying to pick these up. This so game really them. is beautiful. And the colors... I've said it before and I'll say it again. It, it really, it looks like a, like mid evening light after a storm clears, but doesn't clear all the way. Look how green it got. Yeah. Whoa. It's a cool tree. Cool. This is what we're looking for. Looks like cutscene. Whoa. That was mode seven right there. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the like guardians mode, mode and the machines. I, Aegolus of the Owls, made them all. With this token, you hold the key. Come to the sanctuary to see the glory of my accomplishment. And learn in the mistake that I have wrought. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That is bad. Whoa, what happened to our robot friend? Ooh. Check it out. Can't learn any more info on that? Oh, come on. Not yet. That's some blue grass. What is this, Kentucky? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Your little... <laughs> that was so genuine. <laughs> um, so, maybe that's actually... I mean, it's necessary, but that's not actually, like, the path to the next area. Remember Path to the Sky? Ooh, yeah. That game was good. fun. Is there, like, way more content now? There is. We, we did pretty well with that game. Guys, a long time ago, before most of you were subscribed, uh, we played... Or born. Path... No. We played a game called... A little game called Path to the Sky. And, uh... Yeah, we actually... We did okay with that game. A few people came to watch it, because not very many channels played it. And that's, like, the secret. I read an article today about how so-and-so did well with their channel. And, uh, what they did in order to do it. And the secret was, they just picked out a lot of games that had interest on Steam, like Greenlight, but did was under 
represented on YouTube. And Ted, I know you know this because we've talked about it before. Yeah. We're kind of always on the look for an indie game that could get bigger than it is so that we could be one of the firsts to play that game. And, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, we play games that we have fun with as well. What the heck is that thing? But it would also be cool if we ended up being, like, the go-to channel for such and such game, and then that game did well. We did that with Star Ghost. Remember Star Ghost on the Wii U? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised it didn't get a little bigger than it did. I guess people don't like arcade shmups where you just go for high score in the game loops. Yeah, I guess not. But, uh, what's his name? Did the music for that game? He did, um... Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, I did Tropical Freeze. And, uh, I think... Didn't he do the original? Oh, I don't remember now. Hmm. Might look that up. Wait, where are you going? You're backtracking. I know, I hit a dead end. Uh... Oh. I think. Oh, well, you pushed that switch, and now that's that. So, that was a good thing to go. It's interesting. Dude. Take your time. Oh. Yeah, that does look like a dead end, doesn't it? All right, we got some food. Uh, so yeah, so you have to go back to that circle, that roundabout, and then go out to the right where you came from and find one of the previous branches. I think. Is that what you're thinking? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ted, what'd you eat for lunch today? I had some eggs. Oh, eggs. And quinoa made into a and cheese made into like an omelet. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was very good. It was very delicious. Eggs are such a such a great food. They are like the perfect food. Um Kelsey's dad, who's a retired family practice physician, which is just, you know, a doctor up floating continent, uh has said that egg eggs are basically the closest thing that there is to a perfect food. Really? And I was like, good thing they're cheap and delicious also. Help anyone. I'm totally stuck down here. Well, you look stuck down there. He's gonna he's gonna He's gonna sacrifice you to his deity. Oh happy, oh, happy day. day. Mister Aww. Are you the music is shape? so great? He looks so much nicer like that. I'm so hungry, I was about to eat my own feet. <laughs> hey there, fella. Mom! <laughs> Did you just get teleported? Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, good. Oh, is he going to be a... Uh... That's what I would sound like. Is he going to be our That's new party member? Great. I'd even be able I to teleport it. away from Buccaneary's punch. I mean, I'd be able to return to Buccaneary's right away. Oh, they did this earlier in the game. Like, they're all pretending to like this thing that they hate. All right, Otis, you're the carrying expert around here. I'll leave this one to you. I miss what's her name with the crutch. Yeah. Should be carrying her. Huh, it looks like a suitcase. Oomph! Well, don't do that. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, you're trying to remember the buttons? Yeah. Can you insta grab him? Maybe you can't. Maybe you just have to pick him up and that's all you can do. You can dash though, I'll bet, right? Is there a secret here? I sure got foggy. Um. So Ted. Well, that did that on purpose. I mean, oh, not on purpose. It, it dropped it automatically. Wow, Mister, thank you so much. I can tell you, make it from here. Thank you, I said. Hang on, Chad. Bucking our with my bros. Hope we get soon. Okay, we will. All right then. Um. So I've been doing this thing lately, where every morning I wake up and I drink a Nalgene of water. Ooh, that little. That, that's good for you. Yeah. Well, I, I watched a really cool video that said, um, I drank water on an empty stomach for every day for 30 days and here's what I noticed and yeah apparently like especially on an empty stomach and like room temperature water that's the best way to do it yeah it was hard at first to like wake up and just drink 32 ounces of room temperature water but uh eventually it felt like like now I wake up and I'm thirsty and I want to (laughs) So that's cool. That is cool. They say, uh, you know, people live like you eat what you crave, but they say that you crave what you eat. So if there's some food that you know is healthy, but you're not a huge fan of it, try just eating it as a snack in the afternoon or something every day. Like, just have like two mini carrots every day in the afternoon, and pretty soon, one afternoon, you'll be like, I want a 
a couple mini carrots. <laughs> well, I mean, I heard a how really smart guy talking about how um, down, down, you know, down. If the whole microbiome thing is true, you know, it's just like the different microbes and stuff that live in your gut. Um, then <clears throat> it makes sense that they would be adapted to send signals and enzymes to your brain, which they do, that trigger you to want to eat certain things. Mm. So it's true. You do crave, you do eat what you crave because those enzymes and the, the you know, the, the, the bacteria and stuff in your gut right. are like, I well, want more bread. And so all of a sudden now you crave more bread. Right. So you, you crave what you, you want what you crave. <laughs> yes. But you, I get what you're saying. But like, I eat what I crave because I just am in bad and unhealthy habits, you know. But to say that you crave what you eat, I was a really interesting thing for me to hear because I just decided, you know, if you want to be the kind of guy who eats more vegetables, the easiest way to do that would be to like vegetables. And so if you just right. eat them regularly, eventually you'll like them. True. It's kind of nice. Maybe one day I'll only like healthy foods. My kids, some my kids have a lot of questions about heaven. So we're we're a we are a faith based family. Uh, Ted's family and my family both, and uh, which and it's fine if you're not, and if you are and you believe differently, that's fine too. Um, oh, that's not the point of this conversation. Ooh, but oh, I just went up that storm. My kids have questions for me about heaven, and my kids will ask me. Do you think we just get to eat candy all the time and it never makes your tummy upset and it's healthy for you? And I said, either that or vegetables and other healthy things will taste even better to you there than than candy does now. That was the yeah, it'll blow your mind. Yeah, and it did. It, it blew their mind just to hear that. They're like, whoa, because how it's just like a kid to go in heaven. I'll be able to eat candy to my heart's content and I'll never get sick or even unhealthy. Like candy will be mm. good for me, but to flip that on its head and say vegetables good for me will, will be, be candy. delicious, right? Yeah, is uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. What what is actually good for you now will be like candy to you then. Is uh, that's neat. I feel like we've been here before. I do too. I remember that little opening Although. they showed in the Mike Z Mike Zakowski. Mike, what's his name? Mike Wachowski. I was close. No, Wazowski. Oh, I was right on then. <laughs> Wait, is that what I said? No, you said Wachowski. I know. Basement dwellers. Uh, we've seen that. You said Mike before. Kawasaki, I think is what I heard you say. I a motorcycle. Whoa, it's time for next time in the basement already. Jeez. Yeah, I suppose it is. Going fast, like crazy fast. Thank you, Basement Dwellers, for hanging out with us today. Obviously, we think that you're the greatest. And until next time, Basement Dwellers, we also think that you are more Mike Wachowski than... Uh, Mike Kawasaki. In, in the, the basement. basement. <laughs>